Hey all, welcome back to the channel. I have my little P51 Mustang, little Esheen single cell stabilized beast. Such an awesome plane. Just runs off a little 3.7 volt, 400 milliamp hour LiPo battery. And when you buy these things, they come with two or three of them. So I had, um, I also bought the F16 with a whole bunch of batteries. So if you get two of these things at least, you're gonna have four batteries. And that's a long time out here. That's like over 40 minutes of flying time. Forget about, you know, just putting batteries in and out and just enjoying the ambience. That's a lot of flying time. So um, I usually have a blast. I have two batteries with me now and that's enough to, to you know, really enjoy myself out here. So usually bring another plane out and recently it's been the Park Zone Artisan because I've been doing a little bit of flight testing with that this morning. Just uh, been programming some flaperons and ailerons and trying to see how it's been going. But we've had a little bit of wind earlier this morning. That car, that um, plane is back in the car. And of course the wind has stopped. So it would be great testing conditions for that now. But it's back in the car. So we have this little beast. So let's get this little thing up in the air and... Um, We'll have a little chat while we fly, huh? So I set our timer. It's gonna get the timer running, and I just check it intermittently, but the last flight I had with this little beast was 11 and a half minutes, and I was just flying around half throttle. And that's how I like to fly on this thing. I've said it before, love half throttle. Um, love flying in mid rates, or what they call mid on this. There's beginner, expert, and mid, or beginner, mid, and expert mid just gives you more throw so you can just uh, you know yank and bank a little harder um, beginner is just less of that and for beginner mode just pull it towards you mids middle is in the mid position an expert takes all stabilization off even if you're a great flyer I don't know I just wouldn't necessarily recommend that anyway because well at least with not this transmitter because it's a little bit you know, not accurate. Stick movement's inaccurate. Let's fly. Just gonna peg it back. So you can launch this thing with about, oh gosh, it'll fly on half throttle for, sh for certain. So this now is, one, look at that, whatever that is. So that's probably, I mean, looking at it, it looks like about 30% throttle. Just give it a little bit more juice. She flies really well at half throttle. And she'll scream at full. Oh, look at that. What I find is I love flying it low. I just really enjoy that, look at that. Oh. But you also get kind of, I'm not sure what the effect is. There's probably some scientific name. Maybe it's just the sound waves bouncing off the ground. But if you fly it lower, it has a better sound to it. I'm not sure what it is. Look at that, it's just such a great little flyer. Yeah, you fly this in calm weather and yeah, just challenge yourself to see how low you can get. You know, without being silly. And I'd only do this in nice, really calm conditions because, oh, look at that. Because it's just not fun flying, flying, you know, when it's bumpy and the wings are fluttering. You know, you can do it, sure. But it's just not the same. Look at that. Oh, beautiful. Just such a great little flyer. Yeah. All right, it's still a little fast pass. Yeah, I mean, if you put that into the ground at full throttle, it might do a little bit of damage, but I find if you wanna, wanna have a good time, if you wanna have a good time, lower to the ground, 50% is pretty good because then she's fairly predictable. You know, you're not gonna panic and go yanking the sticks around or whatever. You 
you know, it's fairly, fairly predictable. So you can go, you know, buzzing old ladies and, you know, chasing dogs and chasing, chasing the wildlife around without too much of a worry of, um, you know, of, of hitting anything, of losing your plane, breaking your plane. Just because of that little bit extra pre predictability at, at lower speeds. You don't have to, you don't have to, you know, go wide open throttle. What did you say? Wide open throttle, that's what I said. Yeah, look at it go, woo! So yeah, this, I, I, I don't even fly this thing with rudder usually, I mean you can. And she responds to it. That's rudder. Oop. And you can even fly it when you lose sight of it, which is good. <laughs> um, there's, there's full right rudder. A little bit of aileron. Yeah. But I mean, to get that to get that authority you need to just go like full rudder oops that's full right rudder all right let's let's just go a little bit lower again yeah so nice i've got the sun behind me the sun's glistening off those silver wings and the red really stands out nicely. If you fly nice and close, oh, it just shines too. Stands out nicely. So, big news, Eshin, you may have noticed on, um, on Banggood and maybe some other websites, I noticed it on Banggood, that Eshin are now selling the Messerschmitt ME BF109 in two schemes. How's about that, hey? Like, they're really up in their game. So maybe I'll throw in a photo if you haven't already seen it yet. Because oh, he's a galah. What's this galah gonna do? Oh, he's gonna chase me. Yeah, <laughs> look at him. <laughs> if I slow down, he might catch up. Oh, he's loving it. Nah, he's going away. Um, yeah. So there's a grey scheme. And there is like a desert, desert scheme, which is really cool. I think if it was, if it was me getting on, I'd I'd be getting the uh, the desert scheme because I reckon that kind of that yellowish kind of look would look great in the sky. And the glass back. Catch me if you can. Look at him. Meow. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. P51 versus Galar. Yeah, so the BF109, that's that's in, in stock. Will I get it? Probably not. Why? Because I'm cheap. If you if you were yeah, if you were gonna get the FMS Super Easy, would I recommend that one? Um, yeah, I'd recommend it, but um, yeah, you don't you don't need it. You don't need to fly that thing with a Spectrum transmitter if you're all cheapo like I am, and you want to save money, get a cheap transmitter, and then you can buy it. Um, I would say, but yeah, there are there are other options out there as well that are cheaper that probably fly just as well, if not maybe better. It's a good plane though. Uh, what I what I love doing with the Super Easy, I don't have it by the way too, I sold it because I broke the prop off and anyway, you can go and watch all those fun videos, I won't, don't tell it now. So I'd go up and do these stall turns, just come up and then it'd just do these perfect stall turns. It was just, <laughs> it was unreal. And I'd just do these things, I'd call it rocking the cradle. I'd go up, do a stall turn and then I'd come back down and then I'd go up a little stall turn and come back down. And it was just so lazy. You could literally do it like almost in the length of this cricket pitch. You just stand in the middle of it and just go like this. And it was fun, it was really cool. 
it was a very, very lazy roller, like it'd sort of have this kind of roll rate, you know, to just sort of, let me, let me do this. It would kind of roll like this. Nothing snappy, like, you know, if you want snappy, you want to get an extra or something, but. Um, yeah, so P51 Mustang, great plane, good time. You'll have fun with it. So I guess I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.